Hello everyone, this is Preeti. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, in this playlist, I have shared uh, the interview questions that has been asked to me during that analyst or business analyst or W developer or data scientist profile. So um, if you have not watched the other videos, you can watch it. And in this video, again, I am going to share a few of the interview questions along with the answers that has been asked to me for data analyst profile. And all these questions um, I have shared already on my LinkedIn. I will provide the link in the description below. So the very first question is when to use group by and when we can use distinct. Well, distinct is used to filter unique records out of the records that satisfy the um, query criteria. And if we talk about group by, group by clause basically we use when we need to group the data and it should be used to apply aggregate operations. Um, if I talk in layman terms, group by basically let us allow to use aggregate functions. Um, you must be familiar with aggregate functions like average, maximum, minimum, sum, count. So we can use group by with such type of aggregate functions. On the other hand, distinct just removes the duplicates uh, if I define it in layman terms. So the next question is, what will be the output for this query? There are two queries. The first one is count star from table. And in this table, there are various, various columns uh, with having null as well as no null values and count star from the, uh, sorry, count table name, uh, column name from the table. So uh, I will explain this question with example. Here, uh, I have already created a table. And to show you guys, let me just select the table and you can see we have already used this table in our previous videos. Uh, so basically what it is, it is simply uh, there are just three columns, name, age and salary and salary have null values. So basically they asked me this question to check whether the count, uh, you know, star calculates the null values as well. And if we use count for column name, particularly for particular column, so does it include null values or not? So basically count only counts non-null values. So let me just show you this by example. Select count star from table name is B. Fine. So if we run this, it is 3. So you can see there are 1, 2, 3. So it will count our. And now if I want to count for salary only, so we know that there are three, but there are two null values. So it will result in one only. Fine. So this is the second question. And the third question, which is how to calculate difference between the balance or amount from the different months in the same account. So this question basically is very easy, but uh, I was unable to answer this question at that time. To be honest, uh, I was not able to answer it. It, was, it is very simple. If we, you know, know the logic, we can answer it very simple. We can use alias here, basically. So what we can do, let me just show you an example. Uh, here I have created a data table here, uh, simple table, which has customer account number, unique customer account number. Uh, it can be, you know, they show me some other table with other values, but somewhat similar. I have created here. So these are the balance and these are the dates. So basically what I want for this first, you know, customer account number, both the first customer account number, the dates are different. If you see there is 30th one 2020 and here it is 28 to 2020. So the balance is 1000 and another balance is 6000. Now I want the difference between these two. So it should be 5000. Similarly, if I want to check for the second customer account number 9000, 2000, it should be 7000. Now I want to check it. So uh, how I can do that? This is the question and we are going to use alias here. So how we are going to calculate that? So first of all, I want only distinct customer uh, account number. So uh, first, uh, first let me just give alias to my table and the table name is data table. So here I'm going to give it table A, data table B. 
So I have given it uh, an alias to the same table A as A and B. Now I just want this one. You can use any one, not an issue. So now what I want the difference between the balance. So A dot balance minus B dot balance. Fine. And you can give it an alias like difference or anything you want difference between the balance difference between the accounts so the condition is where a dot date register let me just check what's the name yeah date register is uh, what is the date register here it is 28 to 2020 30th first okay so the date register here is 2020 28 and second month and for the another one date register is equals to 2020 31 fine and the another thing is account number should be same a dot customer account number should be equals to b dot customer account number now i'm going to run it and you can see the difference here we have already calculated it should be five thousand seven thousand if you see here thousand and six thousand the difference is five thousand so these are all the questions that has been asked to me so I hope uh, it is clear to you. If you have any query, any doubt, you can write down in the comment section. And do subscribe my channel for more videos like this. Stay tuned. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.